Okay, this is Robert Pogson. Uh, I'm going to uh, start my virtual machine running a Debian installer. To help the video, I'm going to uh, use a graphical user interface. Install GUI space uh, theme equals dark and VGA equals F. That'll give you something easier to see. There we go. And we select our language. Uh, English works for me. My country is Canada. And I have an American English keyboard. Now, uh, the installer is loading what it needs in RAM from the CD. That's pretty quick. Configuring the network. The FTP server has, I mean the DHCP server has my host name already. And we have a fake domain name. Now, to set up users, and I'm going to give root a password. And uh, we'll repeat that. And the GUI allows us to enter, or maybe not. Okay, we will continue. New user will be Pogson. Username for account is Pogson. Password. Good long password. Setting up the clock. For some reason it takes a bit of time. It goes out to the network and synchronizes with a clock on the network. I can do that in a second. It must be using a more sophisticated algorithm. My time zone is central. Now the installer is looking for our hard drive, sets up the partitioner. I'm going to be lazy and say use the entire disk. All files in one partition, that's even lazier. There are reasons to put uh, files in separate partitions, but for now we don't care about that. Uh, we'll finish the partitioning. Right changes to disk. We will select yes. There we go. So now it's giving us an ext3 file system. This inserve package is very nice. It's the thing that helps us boot really fast. For those of you used to that other OS, you won't believe how fast this thing boots. Of course, it's not doing much, but uh, it's still pretty fast. Now, I'm going to deviate from the intended uh, path of the installer. Uh, instead of you know installing a whole bunch of Glorp, I'm just going to install a minimal system. That will allow me to uh, build from there for various projects. This is just building the minimal system, the first project.
Okay, now, uh, the mirror is the location on the internet uh, of the packages we're going to install. If I wanted to pick a server in Canada, I push enter, and I have a whole bunch of choices. Um, there's a, a whole bunch. Debian uni uh, at York University is good. CPSC Calgary is good. I've used a lot of those. But I want to use a local mirror because it's faster. So I'm going to click go back and uh, scroll up to enter information manually. And my mirror is right on this machine, eh? So I'm going to use localhost and the archive is Debian. I'm going to continue from there. Uh, we don't have a proxy. Bad archive mirror! <laughs> What have I done? It's a brand new mirror. It should be good. What have we done? Mirror is not available. Okay. Maybe it's not serving localhost. I think it is. Let's try it again. Um, 192.168.0.101. Type in the repository. No proxy. There. It wasn't serving localhost somehow, or else I mistyped. I don't know what it was. So, so Debian is scraping together a handful of packages to give a minimal boot booting system, and then it's going to come to a stage where it's going to ask us what else we want to install, and I'm going to say nothing. And then in put, install the bootloader, and then we'll have a bootable system that we can build on. Participate in the package. We'll say yes. Give those guys some feedback out there. OK. So here, I could choose a graphical desktop uh, environment and the standard system utilities. I'm going to clear both of those little checkboxes because I, I don't want to install anything more except the bootloader. So I click Continue. Install to the master boot record. There we go. Installation is complete. I click continue. And we are rebooting. And there's my bootloader menu screen and I can push the up and down arrow if I wanted to do something a little different I can boot in recovery mode but here uh, I'll just uh, boot the default VGA equals F is deprecated you use GFX payload equals text before Linux command instead couldn't read file you need to load the kernel first. Press any key to continue. Okay, VGA equals F is deprecated. So the installer guys and the Linux guys need to get together. GFX payload equals text. Okay, we'll just skip that. And uh, we could edit that command and take care of the VGA equals F. Right there. And just take it out. Control X to boot. There we go. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes. <laughs> Half a login screen, eh? Root. Three potatoes to boot. Now let's check out our disk utilization. We have 513 megabytes used. And. Um, Let's count our packages. There we go. 
153 packages used. Now there's 23,000 on the, the repository, so uh, we can have a lot of fun with this system. And you saw how fast it boots. Um, we can get information about the CPU. And you can see it's um, 2.5 gigahertz, 64 bitter, and there's supposed to be four cores. Where are they? Uh, well, there are four cores. Oh, in the virtual machine, maybe they're not. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we are running in a virtual machine, anyways. Now, um, if we wanted to install, say, WordPress, I can just look for it. Oh, search. Learn to type. Eh? Can't type and talk at the same time. So WordPress, WordPress is a, an option. And what we're going to do is install WordPress next time. So we'll see you then.